Welcome to another edition of Seattle Mariners Organizational Report, Episode 8, April 18th, 2022, with the coach with the most coming at you from coast to coast here in Puyallup, Washington. Okay, yeah, yesterday was a big day on Easter Sunday. Matt Brash made his home debut, and he won that game. He had a no-hitter going into the sixth inning, and... Uh, he got four, four double plays behind him, so that really helped. And the offense came alive with five runs in the fourth inning, all with two outs. So, man, that was impressive. And today, the whole organization has the day off. Okay, uh, let's go on to the report. The 3-6 and six Modesto Nuts lost a one-run game down there in Stockton. The Stockton Ports are now 4-5. and five. Modesto, one run, six hits, zero errors. The Ports, two runs, seven hits, and three errors. The winning pitcher for the Ports was Beers. He's 1-1. One one. The loser for the Nuts was Jackson. He's 0-1. And, and Owen got the save for the Ports. He's got a second save now. Notable offensive performances was Harry Ford, 1-4 for four with a two-out RBI. He's now batting 250. And Clace had a... A walk, a run, and his seventh stolen base. Ramirez was two for four. For pitching, pitching for the Nuts, Yuri Tatis. Three innings, two hits, no runs, and five strikeouts. Jorge Benitez, one and a third innings, no hits, no runs, and a K. And to, they got the day off, like I said, but tomorrow they're going to be at home in Modesto at Joe Thurman Field or John Thurman Field, they're going to be playing Rancho Camucha, Quakes, who are 5-4, and four, coming to Modesto. On to Everett. Everett's 3-5. and five. We got killed down there in Hillsboro, but at least we scored a run. So uh, Hillsboro's now 5-4, and four, but for Everett, one run, three hits, and an error. Hillsboro hops 13 runs, 12 hits, no errors. Albright won that game for the Hobbs. He's 1-0. And Jim Joyce lost for the uh, Aqua Sox. He's 0-1. Not many highlights in that game for Everett. Spencer Picard was 1-4 for four with the two-out RBI. And Mike McCuma, two innings pitch, two hits, no runs, and three strikeouts. He's got his ERA down to 159 now. Tomorrow... Everett's going to be at home at Funko Field. They're going to host the Tri-Cities De Dust Devils, and they're 4-4. Four and four. Today, Arkansas, or yesterday, Arkansas had the day off. They're 5-4. and four. Arkansas is traveling to Corpus Christi, Texas, to take on the Hooks. And the Hooks are now 3-6. and six. They're going to be at Whataburger Field there in Texas. Arkansas is going to have Connor Jones on the mound. He's 0-0 with a 9-point ERA. And Tamira's no decisions and a zero-point ERA for the Hooks tomorrow. On to Tacoma. Tacoma's 4-8. Man, they had a knockout, dragout series with Albuquerque. Every run was like football scores. Yesterday was no, no uh, difference uh, with a one-run win for Tacoma. 12 runs, 13 hits, and no errors. And Albuquerque's 5-7. They had 11 runs, 14 hits, and one error. Wyatt Mills won that game. He's now 1-0. And Smith lost for the t Isotopes. He's 0-1. Penn Murphy got a second save. Uh, offensive highlights for the Rainiers. Steven Sousa, 3-for-5 with a run and a 2-out, two 2-RBI two double. Joe Odom, man, he had a great week. In the last five days, he's hit four home runs. Odom, 2-for-5 with the run, RBI, and his fourth home run. And the Rainers will be at Cheney Stadium at home tomorrow. They're going to host the Sugarland Space Cowboys, who are 3-9. and nine. On to the Mariners. The Mariners, Matt Brash won that game with a great outing there. Five and a third innings to win his first game as a Mariner. Only gave up two hits, two runs. He did have six walks. 5 Ks, and he's now got his ERA to 338. Other notable pitching performances, Paul Sewall, two-thirds of an inning with two strikeouts, and Castillo closed out the game with one inning, one hit, no runs, and one strikeout. Man, the offense came alive yesterday again. 
Uh, two for four for Frazier with a run in an RBI. Uh, France had a big day. Two for four, two runs, three RBIs, and his second home run. And also France had three two-out RBIs. Man, that was impressive. Okay, also, um, Kelnick, two for four with a double and two RBI, or a double and two runs. And then uh, J-Rod got his first RBI as a Mariner yesterday. He went one for four with a run in his first RBI. Also, four double plays, like I said yesterday. And even Tor Torrens and Frazier ended up getting one. Torres has been doing solid this year. No, uh, no errors. He even threw out a runner yesterday and got that double help with that double play yesterday. So that's really looking good. And he also got a hit yesterday and a run. Okay, so tomorrow Texas is coming to Seattle. Texas is starting off slow. They're two and seven, and Seattle is, is uh, bringing Robbie Ray on the mound. He's one and one for the Mariners. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a special report, an additional special report for the Cincinnati Reds organization with my co-host from Turnbuckle Turmoil, Sign Guy. He's from the Midwest there, and his favorite team is the Cincinnati Reds. And then also, of course, we're still following the trade that we got for Winker and Soares, for Justin Dunn, uh, Williamson, and Fraley. We'll be going over that. And then also tomorrow in my Mariners report, I'll be going over how all the, the how our organization is doing up till now and who's doing the doing the best for each team in the organization. So I want to thank you guys all for listening and for supporting me and, and we appreciate it and we're just gonna to continue to get better. And thank you so much.